This is the 86 year old abandoned house I bought in Tokyo. And in this video, I will show you how I transformed this neglected outdoor space into something truly astonishing. Can you imagine worldwide companies using this rundown, dirty space for TV commercials and advertising? Let me show you. First, cleaning out the entire space, sorting trash and getting rid of it and boop, this is what we're working on. About five square meter of floor space. Someone wants these windows? I'll be throwing them out. Please let me know, they're beautiful. I don't wanna throw them away. After a lot of demolishing and throwing away trash, this is the condition we went to. A cute little Japanese tea window to the left and just soil on the ground. I used this space as a storage for many months. If you wanna learn more about my secrets, tips and tricks about buying and renovating houses in Japan. Official launch date is 7th of November. Check out the link in bio. Mazuda-san came and put in a concrete slab under the entire house. Some rebar to protect for earthquakes. New windows bought dirt cheap on Japanese Yahoo auction. I had to fire my plumber because my neighbors complained over this mess. But once the pipes to the garden were in, I could start working. It took about four months. And during these four months, I took it from this to this. This is where I put in my future kitchen. And look closely up here in the ceiling. I put in a brand new beam and the rest product, I wanna use it for my garden. This will become a shower. My friend Kevin helped me with the mounting of the wood. And for the pipes, we need to create some big hole for the pipes to run through. Incredibly time consuming, but once you see the final results, I'm sure it will surprise you. Plumbing is in place and the recycled beam almost in place. The biggest mistake I did here was to not put in the plumbing before Masuda-san came and put in the concrete slab under the house. Cement, gravel and sand turns into concrete. After a bit of mixing, Tokyo, no space, so we had to mix it all in the entrance. A pretty heavy job, and it would have been way easier to let Masuda-san do all of wow, this. Wow, you had the mixer in the house. Also, we didn't have any rebar, so we had to DIY this. Central Tokyo and no local home center sold any rebar. So we used some metal fence that they had. This tray filled with concrete is pretty heavy. And loading and offloading this 30 kilo monster was a great workout. Since there will be an outdoor shower in a Japanese rotembro here, we have to slope the concrete. It needs to be in an angle for the water to drain properly. Another round in this bolt, kune in Japanese. Even it out nicely and work away any potential air bubbles. A good thing with doing renovation in Japan is that the home centers, whenever you buy something heavy and bulky, they let you borrow a car to drive the things home straight away. This in total is about 800 kilos of sand, gravel and cement. And the moment you step outside in the garden, we put some natural stones that I found originally in the house when I bought it. When the sloping is done and all the concrete was poured, I also wrote today's date in the newly poured concrete. 2207. A heart to the left and some scary stuff on the other side. Since this house was abandoned, a lot of foreigners who doesn't know Japanese housing culture thinks this house is haunted. But I guarantee you it's just full of love. But imagine finding these signs in a few hundred years. When the concrete was sloped and poured, a friend of ours, a butterfly, came to keep us company. 12 hours later, 24 hours later. Originally, I wanted to build a sauna in here, but that would have covered some beautiful sunlight. Four months ago, it looks like this. Boom. Now it looks like this. We still have some crucial moments to go, but you'll be surprised when you see the final result. The next step was to thread the pipes in the lanes we carved out in the recycled beams. And then we had to connect it to the plumbing and also mount it on the wall, obviously. Easier said than done, because the plumbing, the pipes, and also this piece of wood need to all line up. To my help, Kevin and Alban here to the left help me. Kevin helps up with the plumbing, glues it in place while I'm carrying the heavy beam here. This was really kumakai, detailed work in Japanese. But me, Kevin and Alban did great. And once the pipes were glued together in the right place, we could detach the wooden piece, three drill holes, both here and in the tiles on the wall. Back with the beam again, slide it into the DMs on the backside. Since this beam is very heavy, about 30 kilos, one of us has to hold it while the other one attaches it with about 14 centimeter long screws into the tile wall. ta -da! We're starting to get somewhere, but we still have some detailed work done. But just by looking at this, you can see the progress we've made so far. And can you imagine a final product here? Once the shower head is in, you might be able to imagine the final product. Oh, wait, here to the left it is. Oh yes, I bought a black shower head, cheap from Japanese Rakuten. 
These are Hinoki wooden boards and I attached them to the Buruku Kabe here on the back side. Since the entire first floor of the house will have a wooden Scandinavian Japanese theme, I wanted to use a lot of wood here in the garden as well. Wait till you see the bathtub. And I was thinking about putting in a wooden deck as well. But I made another decision. You'll see in a minute. What do you think about this wall here? Hinoki, about two meters tall. It goes pretty well with a recycled beam and the black shower head, I think. Some cleaning as well. Don't forget cleaning when you do DIY and renovation. Cleaning is everything. Concrete floor, a Hinoki wall, and a cute Italian Greyhound. Chiana Kongi. O genki desu ka? Kawaii desu ne. I kind of like this raw concrete and wooden look. But IKEA, the Swedish embassy, asked me to decorate my garden with these wooden floorboards. The wood is a bit darker than the hinoki on the wall and the recycled beam. And it's way nicer to walk on barefoot. The only thing is that I covered up the natural stones I put in the concrete. But overall, I really like this final look of the floor. And the contrast with the lighter wood. This feels way nicer to walk on. I promise you that. And it looks really good. Here you see me making a dao, a double in Japanese. They look like these, a round, kind of like a pencil, a bit bigger though. And we have to make 10 of these to cover the ugly holes I made in the recycled beam where the shower is. Looking from this angle, it looks pretty nice, but zooming in here, you see these ugly holes. Obviously, we made the double, the dowels, out of the same Baymats material. Looks pretty nice and clean, eh? Obviously, the dowels we made are the same Baymats, the same kind of wood as the recycled beam. The inspiration for the entire outdoor space is a Japanese Swedish oasis. Therefore, I ordered a $500 Rotembro, a wooden bathtub from Rakuten, to go with the shower and the recycled beam. Isn't this beautiful? It came with a little lid on top like this as well. Not to spoil too much about the rest of the house, but this is about six months after renovation started. And I was about to hold a big birthday party. And I got this great oh. idea of turning this garden into a bar with my wooden bathtub, my rotembro, functioning as a fridge. My friend Isa came to help out. Hello. And we made this Japanese Rotembro into an all-you-can-drink, a nomi-hodai, for my friends. Fuku house housewarming party. Let's go. I finally could see my lovely friends again. Thank you so much for coming. But now you probably wonder how the final Japanese garden of the backside looks like. You'll see the after very soon. When the party was over, I realized that the balcony on my second floor needed a little bit of a brush up. And this flooring material won't make the cut. So I decided to change location of these wooden floor tiles I got from Ikea. Instead of having them in my Japanese garden, I had them on the second floor. Before, this was the condition of the house. If you want to do this on your own and interested in the opportunities in buying and renovating cheap houses in Japan, check out Free Houses in Japan. Everything you need to know about buying and renovating older houses in Japan. Link in bio. Let's get to the after.